The standard disclaimer applies. This is just a playground, not a real app. We're still a long ways away from a real app. That said, here's what's happening in the world of Component Studio 2. Uh, the first thing I did is I changed the fields to no longer have any editable controls out here. Uh, there were a few different uh, suggestions about this. Uh, basically, it was too easy to potentially click on something and uh, change the value. Uh, also, people didn't like that it was covering up so much of the um, area here. So everything is in here so that like if you have a formula out here, you're not uh, losing any of the area that's uh, there to display the formula. So um, another thing that people brought up is they would love to have a um, an undo. There's never been an undo in Component Studio, but uh, this is basically what if I what if I screw up and click on something and delete a formula or I change it and I want to go back. So let's uh, let's just change the height here. I'm going to hit this and go down to there. So we've changed that. Uh, you can see that you know the new value is in here um, and it is of course over here as well. But we can go back now with history. It shows you uh, what's in there. Um, so the copy and paste part doesn't work yet, but this shows you what has been in this field historically. So you, what you do is click on that field and that would add it to your clipboard. And then you'd be able to go in here and paste it back in. So basically every field would have a history of like 10 levels of, you know, what were the last 10 values of this field. So that way you could always look back and see, you know, what formula did I use or what value did I put in there? That sort of thing and then you have that quick and easy way to kind of undo. Um, so with that, I'm gonna put this to, I don't know, 300. Um, and you can see that that was now added there too. So anytime it gets changed for any reason, it's in the history. Uh, this goes for every field also. So the controls for color are in here as well. And again, if I change this over here to you know some other color, uh, these colors are all being stored now um, in the history field. So I have my range of colors that have been applied to this field over and over again. So now uh, that, that covers the, the undo. Uh, now I've, I've been working on um, grouping things. So right now we have a default group here. And the, the thought was that groups or that uh, a lot of times different things go together so like you're making a little uh, area of your card or token or whatever and this you know this title this text this background color all that those three items go together so it'd be nice if i could group those items so that's what this is all about uh this what this group here is um you can add elements to the group um so i can do something like this and i can say uh, you know what, this one's going to be kind of this purplish color here, like so. Um, and I can drag that around and everything just like it was, you know, every other thing. But then I could go ahead and add a new group. And I could add a new box to that group as well. So um, here I'm going to rotate this one a bit. And then I'm going to resize it like so. And then I'm going to make it, uh, let's say, opa uh, opaque, or I'm sorry, transparent. So we're just going to come down here like so. Um, and now let's move this over here. We're covering up a whole bunch of stuff, right? Well, the cool thing is now you can, you know, you can turn on and off individual elements. But I could go over here and I could turn off the entire group if I wanted to. So I don't have to see that group anymore. Uh, likewise here I'm turning off the group but there's only the one element in that group so that's groups it's not uh, fully baked yet this is just a quick uh, demonstration of what it could do um, there will not be groups of groups it just starts to get really complicated for very little gain so uh, you'll just have uh, not only just in the code but also in the user interface it starts to get everything gets compressed um, and, and becomes complicated that way. So um, I'm not gonna do groups of groups, but you at least have groups now and you'll be able to apply properties to the group uh, or apply properties to the uh, individual layers within the group. Uh, 
Also, there was a suggestion that we be able to uh, collapse the various headings so that you don't have to see all the properties. And so I've added that. Um, and I think that's probably it for right now. Um, but anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, do you like the changes that I've made based on the suggestions and feedback that I've gotten? Uh, would you like to see something else added? Um, you know, I can't say that I'm going to get to everything, but I'm going to try. I've been listening to feedback so far, so uh, please leave your comments uh, below. Thanks.